Hello everyone, and welcome to another winter episode of Science Bits for Kids. Hi everybody! As you might know, winter brings a lot of changes, like a really cold weather and longer nights for example, but together it also brings something truly spectacular. Paula, do you know what I am talking about? Of course, it's snowflakes, especially if we look really close, they look magical. That's true, up close they really look spectacular. And did you know that not all snowflakes look like six-pointed stars that most of us are used to see in illustrations or decorations? I know, many of them do look like that, but there are also quite a few odd-looking snowflakes falling from the clouds. Most of the snowflakes we can see fall into one of the seven categories. Plates They might be as simple as flat hexagon, kind of reminding a plate, or form a bit more intricate shapes out of more hexagons. Stellar crystals these mostly are the famous six-armed tree-like dendrites. Columns As the name suggests, these look like six-sided small columns. Needles Needles look similar to columned crystals, just much thinner. Spatial dendrites this category describes many individual ice crystals jumbled together to form one three-dimensional shape. Capped columns These snowflakes kind of looks like a two wheels on an axle. And irregular This category basically describes everything else that falls from the sky and cannot be assigned to any of before mentioned categories. The shape of the snowflake that will fall from the sky is determined by the humidity and temperature of the cloud they form in. Between 27 and 32 Fahrenheit, for example, crystals take the form of six-sided plates if the humidity is low. If humidity goes up, we will see those famous dendrites. If temperature goes down between 27 and 15 Fahrenheit, then needles and columns start to form. If temperature goes even lower, we would see stellar plates and dendrites at high humidity and plates at lower. With temperature decreasing further, mostly plates and columns are observed. The chart you see in here is called the Nakaya diagram. After Japanese physicist Ukihiro Nakaya who discovered this behavior by growing snow crystals in his lab in the 1930s. Dad, is it true that no two snowflakes are alike? Yes, that is correct. And to understand why, first we need to know how the snowflakes form. Well, it starts when water vapor condenses and freezes around a speck of dust high in the clouds, up to 6 miles high. Then the frozen crystal starts falling from the cloud. While it's falling, water vapor will continue to freeze onto the crystal, making it grow and take on a shape. No two snowflakes will ever take the same path, thus resulting in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Wow, that sounds fascinating. I wish I could see how the snowflake forms. Well, today is your lucky day then. Professor Kenneth Liebrecht from California Institute of Technology, who studies the molecular dynamics of crystal growth, shared with us a video where he is actually growing a snowflake in his lab. Isn't this spectacular? It truly looks magical. But it's all science. Keep in mind that what we see here happening in seconds was happening much slower in real time. What we see taking only around 20 seconds here actually took around 40 minutes in the lab. And this is how the snowflakes form and why they have different shapes. Also, as always, let's finish with a short quiz. First question. What shape is this snowflake? 
Is it A. Needle B. Banana or C. Plate Correct answer is A. Needle Next question A simple plate snowflake is shaped like A. Square B. Pentagon or C. Hexagon Correct answer is C. Hexagon And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video and don't want to miss our next episode, please press like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions that we could answer in our next video, please send them to sciencebitsforkids at gmail.com. Thank you and stay warm. See you next time.